So there's a, new, there's a possibility that a new drug might be created. And let me give you a little bit of background. So, you know, most of the time when you get sick and you're in a lot of pain, doctors will give you morphine or Tylenol with codeine or oxycodone or Percocet, all those drugs that sort of help relieve the pain. But there's a, su there's a level of super pain, which is called neuropathic pain. Um, neuropathic pain is, fe is the feature of a couple of diseases, diabetics, end-term diabetics, um, MS, cancer, and HIV. And unlike typical acute pain caused by an injury or a wound, this neuropathic pain comes from a patient's own nervous system. So the nerves are controlling, like the nerves, so when I hit myself, like basic science, my nerve is activated and tells my brain that I just got hit there. But this is the opposite, right? The nerve is activating when I'm not being hit or when I'm not wounded. The nerve is causing the pain without, with, without uh, impulse to cause the pain. Nerve is a, like the nerves are reactionary things. They react to a pain. But when they're not reacting, just so either way, this pain is excruciating. It really can't be stopped. People have done surgeries to try to stop it. But it just, it's, just, it's just basically it's like mind pain. Your mind is causing your body to hurt. And there's not really any drug for it. So some of the options, people they put, do antidepressants as one option. They use opids to pot to try to sort of relieve these pains, right? But those are short-term treatments for a long-term problem. But now, there is a new possibility on the, on, on the market. So snail, this cone snail, it's like a sea cretin, sea creature, um, had this small protein called conotoxin. And conotoxin is a potent class of a neurotoxin, which is, you know, it's a drug. Uh, and it's a thousand times more powerful, a hundred times more powerful than morphine. And they're thinking they can use this drug to help these individuals get better. And now this is the only way they're trying, because it has to be a manageable thing, right? And, and you also can't be, it can't be an addictive drug. So right now, the only drug that's on that level is ziconotide. And ziconotide is injected in your lower spine through a spinal tap or through an epidural, lower spine. Um, but that's not a day-to-day -day fix. Like, you're going to your, you're gonna get your spine, like, you're going to get epidural every single day. So it has to be in a pill form or a liquid form. And so they're working on this. The University of Queensland, they're working on trying to develop this drug to make it so that people who have this neuropathic pain can finally get the help they need. <laughs>